Gary Lockett, thank you for talking to Frank Warren TV. You're off to Atlantic City this weekend for the fight of your life against, against uh, Kelly Pavlik, d middleweight champion. How's training been going? Yeah, it's gone well. Um, I've been training obviously about 15 weeks now because I was supposed to be on the CIA bill in Cardiff um, going back about a month or so ago. And um, yeah, it's gone really well. I've uh, been doing a lot of sparring with Enzo Macronelli. Uh, he's been great actually. Um, obviously trying to imitate Pavlik and, and whatnot. I mean, it's, I know it's a contrast in styles, but um, Enzo's probably the best sparring that I could probably get for Pavlik, you know, because they're both tall and both long limbed. Mm. And um, yeah, it's just rearing to go now. We came to see you a few weeks ago and you were very upbeat and very confident. As, as fight night is drawing near, obviously, it's uh, just over a week away now. Is reality setting in about just how big this task is for you? No, I think I've always um, really known how, how big the task is. You know, we know it's a, we know it's a massive task. Um, but, you know, we've put together a game plan and uh, we think it's going to be effective. In Atlantic City, obviously, it's away from home. That's a huge thing. And then you're a huge underdog as well. Yeah. Uh, what, what are the likes of all the other boxers in the gym? It's a great stable you've got here. Told you about handling that sort of pressure. Um, well, no, nothing really. To be honest, I'm quite a, a strong-minded person. You know, so no matter what, um, you know, no matter where you fight or no matter how many supporters the opposition's got, there's still only one-on-one -on -one in the ring, isn't it? So, um, you know, I fought all over all over the world as an amateur, and I and I fought abroad as a pro as well. And to be honest, I've never really found it any different. Um, perhaps that'll change on on the night when uh, there's thousands of supporters uh, baying for my blood. But um, no, I, you know, once the bell goes, I, it's only me and him in there anyway. So. Do you think, in a way, that the whole Team Pavlik thing may have been underestimating a little bit? I mean, he's already looking at his next fight, isn't he? Isn't he in sight and looking at what's next? You know, he has to get through Gary Lockett first. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, I don't see, re I don't really see that as a disrespect. I think that's just the way that it works with all the top fighters. You know, especially the American ones. You know, they're always planning ahead. But um, I think they've obviously underestimated me. You know, everyone has, and um, because they've not seen anything of me, um, I think they sports network sent them a couple of videos. You know, in order to make the fight um, but you know n none of them can get anything on me so they don't know anything about me really so um, with a bit of luck they have underestimated me what's uh well, what's what's Pavlik's weak link how do you how, how do you beat Kelly Pavlik oh, good question um, no we you know he's obviously um, he's a throwback and you know I've got nothing but respect for him you know he sets a sets a hectic pace um, he comes forward and he just tries to he tries to force everything he tries to force you into a pace that you don't want to fight but Couple with that, he obviously uh, punches very hard, and he's got a good chin as well. But as I say, we've we've got a game plan, and we're going to stick to it. And um, we've seen a couple of things that perhaps we can exploit. But um, in saying that, you know, he's a murderous puncher, so the first thing we've got to do is avoid his punches. Can you put into words what it would mean to you to shock the world and uh, knock the middleweight king off his pedestal? Well, it's, you know, if anybody had told me, you know, even going back a year or two ago that I'd be in this fight, then uh, I would have had to pinch myself, you know. I would have thought that they were telling fibs, but, um, you know, obviously it goes without saying why it would mean to, to, to win it. But, um, you know, I'm just just trying to stay focused at the moment and um, you know, work on my game plan, finish my training, and then we can, we can go about um, getting into the fight and, and try to pull it off. Good luck. No probs, thank you. Thanks.